In this video, we're going to practice in describing the motion of the car in the displacement time graph and another one is the velocity time graph. You can see that the shape of the both graphs are the same, but because it's a displacement time versus a velocity time, the motion is actually very different even though they look the same. Let's start with the displacement time. And just to recap, as you know, the gradient of a displacement time or speed time graph will represent the speed or the velocity. So let's start with the first portion here. From 0 to A is a 0 gradient, 0 speed. So this is basically at rest, the car is not moving. From A to B, the steepness increases. So it's increasing gradient, increasing velocity or increasing speed and from B to C is a the steepness never change so it's a constant gradient constant velocity or constant speed from C to D the gradient the steepness is decreasing so it's decreasing gradient decreasing velocity or decreasing speed so and the next portion here D to E so it's flat, there's zero gradient, zero velocity, zero speed. So in other words, it is at rest. So it's similar to this portion here. All right. And then from E to F, so it's getting steeper and steeper. So it's increasing velocity, increasing speed, but in the negative velocity. So that means it's moving back towards the in the opposite direction so for f to g is a constant velocity or constant speed but it's a negative so moving in the opposite direction so e to h here basically is moving in the opposite direction so g to h the is getting less and less steep so it's negative decreasing velocity or speed and h to i once again is zero gradient zero velocity zero speed it is at rest once again and there's a negative portion over here first of all it's definitely ne uh, negative constant velocity because the gradient is constant so and it's sloping this way so it's negative so what it means is is actually going the opposite direction now it will be important to beside knowing the gradient which will help you to describe the motion is very important to visualize the motion of the car so now let's visualize flow from o to a the car is at this point this is the starting point and for that first few seconds let's say it remains at this point here at the reference point so it's at rest so from a to b is increasing speed so B to C is continue to move at constant speed. Then after that, it will slow down. So it decreases its speed until at D to E, basically this is at rest. So for this period of time, it's stationary at this point here. And that's the furthest point. It is away from the reference point over here, the starting point. And then from E to F is a negative increasing speed that means it's going faster and faster but in the opposite direction that's why you have a negative uh, speed here then after that constant speed but in a negative direction and then you slow down it's decreasing speed so and at this point h to i basically you are at zero displacement that means to say you are back to your reference point the starting point and then subsequently from i to j the displacement is negative it's a negative portion of the graph and it means to say you are traveling at constant speed but it's to the left of the starting point so anything to the left is negative displacement anything to the right here is all positive displacement so I hope this will help you in visualizing the motion of the car. Next, let's take a look at your velocity time graph. As mentioned, the motion will be uh, quite different actually. So let's take a look at the first portion here from 0 to A. So you can look at the y-axis is always 0. That means to say 0 gradient, 
zero acceleration so and since the velocity the speed is zero here so this is at rest acceleration is zero because no gradient then from a to b is getting steeper and steeper is increasing gradient increasing acceleration then from b to c is a constant gradient so it's a constant acceleration c to d is decreasing steepness decreasing gradient so it's decreasing acceleration and then from d to e you can see that there's no gradient so it's zero gradient the acceleration is zero but what's the difference between here acceleration zero versus here acceleration zero so as mentioned in the previous video it has a speed so this means at this point here is moving at constant speed from d to e and then from e to f is increasing gradient so but it's a negative increasing acceleration in other words it's increasing deceleration so the car is actually slowing down and from f to g is a negative constant acceleration in other words it's a constant deceleration for g to f the gradient is getting less and less steep so it's negative decreasing acceleration in other words it's a decreasing deceleration and h to i once again the acceleration zero is basically at rest and then there's a negative portion here i to j so it will be a negative constant acceleration but this negative here okay is a bit misleading if you look at it the velocity is negative now negative velocity does not mean slower than not moving it basically means that it's now moving in the opposite direction so it's a constant acceleration but in the opposite direction so you will still have a negative here doesn't mean that it's slowing down you can prove to yourself because the velocity is or the speed is increasing more negative now next let's visualize how the car actually move on the ground so from time equals to zero onwards zero to a let's say it takes five seconds it will stay at rest at this point at the starting point then from a to b you know that the velocity the speed is increasing and it's increasing acceleration so it's going faster and faster okay in, at the increasing rate from a to b then constant acceleration is still going faster it's just that the rate of increase in speed is the same and c to d this is not decelerating it's still increasing speed it's just that the increment is getting smaller and smaller and then from d to e it reaches its maximum speed maximum velocity and then it moves at constant velocity zero acceleration and e to f onwards it starts to slow down so it starts to slow down from e to f it's an increasing deceleration then constant deceleration then g to h is decreasing deceleration and from between h and i is at rest at this point here for a certain time and then after which it will because it's negative portion negative velocity it means that the car is going in the opposite direction okay because going to the right is positive and going to the left now it will be represented by a negative velocity i hope these two examples will give you a better idea how to describe the motion of the car and visualize the motion of the car and because this is a velocity time graph or speed time graph of course the the first part we have already addressed the gradient represent the acceleration and secondly the area underneath the graph will represent the distance traveled by the car for example i can also ask you what is the distance traveled by the car when the car is moving at constant speed so you know that it belongs it is this portion here so basically you need to find the area underneath the graph which is a rectangle over here all right so these are things that they can ask you or i can ask you to find the acceleration of the car from b to c so you'll be applying your 
acceleration formula V minus U over T where at point C here that will be your final velocity and B here will be your initial velocity or speed and the time taken will be from B to C that will be this region here so that's how you find your acceleration so these are various things that they can ask based on the graph